So he's so hardworking. How does he have time to go to strip clubs? Like seriously, <laughs> like seriously, at this point, like is he working? Like this, is he working off his phone? Is he like, okay, Ian, hold on, he let me send you this. Hold, 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 wait, no, don't, don't clap. How like do you that. know I'm about like, his strip club? He posts it. Yeah, all that's of, true. It, I mean, <laughs> those are those are my. Don't be with your kid. On Instagram and going through the story and you accidentally come across Joe's. He's at the strip club. Oh You're like, wait, don't no, turn it off. I always show them to Julia in the morning. I'm like, I'm like, oh, Joe had a good night and it's just <laughs> Some nice girl's ass bouncing yes! in front of my screen, with wearing fishnets, and you're like, okay, what's uh, right next to our <laughs> right next to a brand integration we have? I'm like, all right, and there we go. <laughs> Where does he find the time, Joe? Oh. The strip club is inspiration for Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've also seen him eat a piece of cake, chocolate milk, and sit on his phone and write treatments at the strip club for work we have to do. <laughs> And the strippers come up to us and Joe will respectfully shoo them away because he's working. He likes the energy of the strip club. He, it, it inspires him. Yeah, it's very Joe. It, I mean, he's been You've about known that. Joe. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, he's That's been Joe. about that life. He, and he's very open about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to many strip clubs with Joe and- uh, Can you it, work in the strip club? Like, can you yes. get your laptop out and like start- like, I don't know right, laptop, but I- Do they have Wi-Fi? <laughs> do they have Wi-Fi? Some of the Maybe strip clubs I've it. been to with Joe actually serve full meals. And I'm like, what the hell yeah. is going on and here? It's probably Why are we delicious. Eating? Yeah. The ones I've been to with him have decent food. Okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable eating in the strip club. <laughs> I never feels- understood the concept. Like there's beautiful naked women everywhere right. and you're sitting eating cheesecake right. and a chocolate <laughs> milk. Foods. I don't understand what's going milk. on. It's so <laughs> it's, good. But but it's inspiration. Right, I guess so. That's, it's, it's, that's Joe's inspiration. Maybe we should try. Well, we should try we should this. Try. You, go, you guys wouldn't do a, a girls' field trip to a strip club? I think we could. Have you ever been either of you? Yeah, we've we been Wi-Fi. Clubs. We've been together. Yeah, we've been yeah. in many strip clubs, but... It doesn't I, do it for you? It doesn't really do... It's inspiring because I for you too. Well, it's inspiring to see everyone trying to get money. Like it's like, oh wow, we're in it. Like let's go hustler mentality. But that, it's not I know. like the music is probably like when. Yeah, I don't know if we'll find inspiration. Inspiration right. I think we'll to fi- work on our bodies to, you know, <laughs> get, get on that to treadmill, the gym, hop on the elliptical machine. That right. inspiration. It makes you want to like, like get your shit in order right. or something like, what? physically. But or maybe get Ozempic because Katrina's talking me you out of it. Get the Ozempic. With the Ozempic talk. We need a little Ozzy. Have we have we really <laughs> come down to this in our our culture that we're stabbing ourselves with yes. pens to lose weight? Our yes, cu- our culture's <laughs> instant. I, I haven't instant. done it, but yeah. yeah. I'm kidding, maybe. <laughs> but it, but listen, do you want to go on the elliptical? No. Tell Ian right now when's the last time I went to the gym. The gym? Probably to watch Colin work out. <laughs> <laughs> you go to watch him work I'm out? Watch him work out. Yeah. Yeah, go, go. So you ask him to do enough workout for all of you. Yeah. Can I tell you a funny story? Just really quick, last <laughs> Colin story, I promise. Because I okay, I like talking about Colin. Colin is great. So we he used to work out a lot at Chelsea Piers. Okay, and he would have different people be like, "Hey, Colin, you know what are you doing? Can I come work out with you?" And they can't even keep up in his warm up. I've I seen many it. people throw up during the warm up, <sighs> and I'm like, "Okay, you're gonna have workout. a long day." Yeah. And How Colin, long does he work out for? Oh my gosh. He is, he's up at 4.30. He's probably at the gym about 5.30 because he likes to stretch. He does his protein shake. He, he has oh a routine. God. Whole routine. He, 5.30. He doesn't get back until about like nine. What? And then he goes straight into his meetings. Like he, daily meetings. Colin is very structured. It, very like, regimented. Extremely. To, to the minute. Oh, mm. time to go get my lunch. Are you late? To anything, Nessa? I used to be, but because of Colin, I'm not. Katrina, what about you? Me? All the time. I, I'm not late to the radio show. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You're habitually late to things? Um, I'm late, but yeah. <laughs> habitually late to They things. say late people are smarter. That's not true. I'm so I don't, late. I don't believe it because I'm, I'm never late. late all so. the time. There's absolutely no way. You know, they I say late people are less stressed. <laughs> they live longer. And they're smarter. There we go, baby. I know. Doesn't do much for you and I. Wait, can I tell you, Ian, she was a spelling bee champ. (laughs) Because I'm late. She is smart. Maybe she is smart. I'm a little bit smart. Yeah, I I can tell she's smart. Katrina's very smart. I just, 
Nessa, not that you're not smart, but you and I are like the hustlers. Yeah, we'll work we hard. Work, we're like workhorses. Exactly. And here's the thing. Katrina probably is substantially smarter than me, but she wow. will never outwork me. No way. Ever. And that is no why I have to us. take care of her. That's you, exactly You guys why. are a team. We're a team. You <laughs> complement each other, like guys. This. Yeah. I like it. Is. Do you have any <laughs> input when Joe is putting a team together, speaking of teams? Yes. A lot? Yes. But what if he's like, Ian, I don't care what you have to say right now. I believe we in what I'm- We disagree all the time. <laughs> but- <laughs> we disagree and come to solutions that make sense. And right. and there's reasoning behind it. Like there are things Joe will suggest and I'll be like, great idea. But the approach or the strategy that you're telling me, I don't think is going to work. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm not using those exact words, Sure, sure. but we have our discussions and we disagree all the time. However, uh, we're eight years in now and I think we agree on a lot more than we disagree on. Um, and when you say oh, eight it. years, as far as like- I've been managing Joe for eight years. We've been business partners for many years on many got different it, projects. It. And yeah, I have a lot of input on all the decisions that are made. I mean, there are certain things I steer clear of because it's it's his producer brain that needs that freedom to, sure. to creatively put things together. But in terms of infrastructure, the business, how things are organized, partnerships, uh, I have- yeah, equal input as he does, mm -hmm. because I think we have built something really special together and our minds complement each other. Mm -hmm. Where he lacks, I make up. Where I lack, he makes up. And we've learned to really respect each other's input. That's great. Do you feel like because it's been a learning process, you guys are building something from the ground up? There's no blueprint for what you guys have built. No, not yet. You guys are the blueprint. We are. <laughs> and so... I think so. Absolutely. And so... Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be times that you guys didn't do things right or you guys overachieved or whatever right. it is. Do you feel like because Joe's more of the face, yes. obviously, of the pod, he gets more of the rap of, like, you guys, the building stages. You're like, dang, you know, we weren't great here. We weren't, you know, we didn't get this part right. Meaning you know, meaning what? Like, he gets, he'll get the... He gets the, the, you know, short end of it because he's the face of it. Yes. Yeah. I feel like they don't give Joe enough credit for mm. a lot of the great stuff that he's been at the precipice of building. I think he's influenced an entire culture of, of oh, yeah. people for sure. to look at the content business differently than they would have if he didn't exist. I agree. Like, I think Joe showed creators that existed already and people that were soon to be creators, that there's a different path other than what they're telling you. And I'm now going to show you how to do it, win, fail, or lose. And you could either follow me, you could bash me for it, mm -hmm. or you could agree and try it yourself. But when things go wrong, there's extra attention on yeah. Joe doing it incorrectly because he's the only one doing it like that. Mm-hmm. So in this world of everyone having these big deals and these exclusive partnerships and selling off their rights, us being in this independent movement, mm -hmm. there's extra attention on the things we do. When we do something, it affects the rest of the industry mm -hmm. because right. then creators look at it and go, oh, should we entertain that? Or this is why Joe's wrong and, and f him for suggesting it because we, everyone's situation is not like Joe's, but he's putting you on to game. The right. things we do are hopefully putting you on to different paths that could help you. We're hoping that we could help paint a blueprint. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I don't think we sit there and say, this is the blueprint. We've never done that. <laughs> right. But I know that this is going to be looked at. And there's some weird feeling I have that this is going to be looked at as the, the way to set up an infrastructure if you don't want to go the archaic traditional route right but i think you guys are already doing it and i think more people Thank know you. it and maybe they're not saying it enough well, they don't like to give us here's the other thing they'll shit on him extra hard they'll shit on me extra hard when things go wrong but they won't credit us when things Absolutely go right no. no no one wants to cheer you on no. let's be honest we do yeah well we you do. do yeah we we love yeah, because because you're <laughs> because your wins doesn't determine any of my losses. i was gonna say <laughs> that, that your win actually gives me oh we all can win Boom, let's go.